Hello. This is Miss Lena from Miss Lena's Kitchen. And I'm coming to you. This today is the Thursday. And I'm still trying to prepare things for the New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. So today I'm getting this one I'm getting ready to do. I have some pork neck bones. I've done neck bones in five different uh I think five this is five different I think I've done five different times. Eh? Five different kinds of pork chop. I mean uh, neck bones. Now this one I will be doing a uh, onion uh a uh, smother a smother onion pork chop in and a skillet. A skillet smothered pork chop. I mean no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do so many pork chops, I can't get it done. A smothered neck bone with onions in the skillet. A skillet onion neck bones. All right. So these are the items that I'm going to be using. This is my neck bones right here. I did find some neck bones that were small enough to put in the skillet as if it was like a pork chop size or something. Okay. So I'm going to be doing those. All right. Is she already have cleaned the neck bones? Yeah, but I've all, and I always wash all of my meat in uh, vinegar water before I put them in, especially the pork, okay? So now I will be using uh, with, uh, black pepper, complete, garlic powder, onion powder, and Himalaya salt, and also flour. And I'll also be, this is what I'm gonna be putting in for the uh, onion and uh, bell pepper type uh, smothered skillet uh, neck bones, okay? So now I'm getting ready uh, to start uh, putting my uh, ingredients on them. Now I don't know how many, how much ingredients that uh, it might take. I can't. I'm not going to give you a definite I, because everybody have to use different amounts of, of uh, seasoning on your on your whatever you're cooking. So right now I have about. Uh, I think I have about maybe three pounds of neck bones, or maybe two and a half pounds, something like that. Okay, I'm going to put my flour back to the back. And I'm going to put my Himalaya salt on just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to be here uh, using the Himalaya salt. Now, I've laid my neck bones out on, the, on this uh, tray so you can see them. Cause these are small with a lot of meat on them, and so if we, if we, I'm not gonna say you may not be able to find them without with uh, with small like these are. They are so small; they have very few uh, rib bones in them. So if you get the big bones in them, I don't know it will it will work, but you'll have to have a, a deep a deep fryer to fry them. But I'm gonna do it with a skillet because I was able to find. I've been looking for something like this for a while, and I wasn't able to find them. But when I found them, this time I said I would get them and do this. And I thought, well, right now is, is a good day to do it. For the simple reason is, a lot of people is getting uh, getting ready to uh, do the New Year's Eve and the New Year's Day dinner. So this is my uh, Chesapeake Bay. I'll be putting some of this on top. Okay. And I'm gonna do one side, and then I'll do the other side with it, with what I have left. Okay. So I'm just sprinkling it according to what I need. But I, whenever you season them like this, you may sometimes people need more seasoning. I don't, and I don't. I use a little bit, but I don't know how much you have to have. But you're seasoning them according to what your family, or what you can, what you all have to do with. Because sometimes everybody can't have salt. And, Everybody don't like different, maybe don't want like garlic powder and don't like onion powder. So if, if there's any other type of seasoning, you might like Larry's or whatever. But whatever you like, you use yours according to what you know your seasoning would be for your family members. Okay. Now this is my garlic powder. Okay. All right. And I'll be using uh, uh, the complete. This is this takes the place of a, a lot of salt. If you can't have if you if you have chronic uh, blood pressure problems or diabetes problems, 
This is very good for that. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes these holes don't really work right away, so I might have to. Let me see. Maybe I'll open the other side with a bigger hole. This doesn't seem to be coming out well. Okay. I don't want too much to come out, so. Okay. It's a very good seasoning for anything. For well, vegetables as well. But I do use it for, for all can. Okay. I'm going to be putting my black pepper on just a little bit. I don't want the story sneezing, so I don't use a lot. I'll use more in my... Okay. All right. All right, so now I'll be turning it over to store it. Doing the same thing on this side as I did on the other side. And you can see it. I don't have very many bones in it. So, but I have to put it on both sides anyway. Okay. So now you can see it for yourself. Okay, I'll start out with the black pepper this time, since it was the closest. Okay. And here's my complete. This is the next thing. It was the closest, so... I'm just doing whatever I have close enough to me to get it started. Okay. Now my garlic powder. Okay. And here's my garlic powder. Okay. And here's my onion powder. Now, if I was going not to make uh, the uh, the gravy with it. I would put I would put them in the egg batter, but since I'm making gravy with them, I don't need to have the egg batter. So I'm just going because they're going to be cooked and going to be mostly like a, a skelly type uh, smothered onion, almost like you would smother onion and liver. So I'm I'm not going to use any more salt because I have enough complete on. On the on that other on the other side and anyway, so the complete takes a lot of the, away and I'm just using a little bit of Chesapeake Bay. I'm not using a lot of that either. So, okay. So now I'll be putting this back out of my way and the salt also. And I'm gonna be coming forward with my getting ready to get it into the skillet. Let me. I'm gonna go and turn my fryer up on the Gonna turn it up a little bit. I had it getting warm a little bit, but I know it's not ready yet. So give me just a minute mm -hmm. to go to the stove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to this stuff. Alright. I'm getting ready to put it in the skillet. And I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna store them all. Okay. Yeah, my grease is ready. So I'm gonna store them off on the back side. And I'll come to the front side. Where the bone is. And I'll turn them over. I was really hoping I'd be able to get them all in there, so I think I am. These are smaller pieces that's going down. Then I'll turn it over. Okay. 
Oh, right now. I'm going to take my gloves off. And I'm not going to let them brown too high. I'm keep cooking it kind of down. It's, it's still kind of uh, medium high, but I don't want to go. I don't want to brown too much. Yes or no? And I'm going to be putting all of my flour in it when I turn them over. I'm going to take them out first after they brown. I'm going to put them back on the tray. And then after I get my onion sauteed out, then I'll be putting, I'll be putting in, putting it in ready to lay back out. Just as soon as I get them turned over. I was trying to get all this done. So I to turn them over as soon as that side is brown. And if you can't find the small ones, you can always do the same thing, like you said, put them in a the deep fryer. And then after they fry, you can take them out and put them, make your gravy with them. And if you don't have a deep fryer, just put them in a deep pan, a deep pot that you can fill it up with water that will cover them. That's all you have to do. And so long, they just need to be covered. Yeah, like this, you don't have to worry about it. But if you have the bigger ones, you almost have to put them in a deep fryer or a deep pot with a lot of grease, with a lot of grease in it. She'll be back once they get brown, once you turn them over. All right, I'm turning them over on the other side now. This side is browned out pretty well. This is on the bony side. Now I'm turning them over be on the meaty side now. I will store it off on the meaty side. As soon as they brown, as soon as they brown on this side, I'll be taking them out and I'll be putting them on a tray and I'll take some of the grease out and I'm going to put, I'm going to put the, uh, you am going to put my onion and my bell peppers in and make them start okay. And then I'll, after they cook a little bit, just brown a little bit, then I'll be putting the, uh, snake bones back in. I'm going to cut them down just a little bit. She'll be right back after she take them out. I, don't I turn them down on medium. So now I'll be taking them out. And I'm going to be laying them on the tray.
Now I'm going to pull my grease out. And then I'll be putting in, let me move it on this other side for a minute. Pull the grease out. Here you go. Okay, I have to pull it out and I have to strain the grease to put it back in in order to uh, get the saute. Okay, at this point, I'll be taking the sauteed onion and my uh, bell peppers out. And I'm going to lay them down here with my uh, neck bones. Okay. Now, I'll be pulling some more of my uh, grease in from, one, from frying the neck bones in order to, I want the skillet to be completely covered with oil. Because I'm going to let the neck bones stay in here for about 30 minutes or better in the gravy, okay? I'll be putting my flour in. And I'm going to have to add just a little bit more flour. Just a tiny bit more. Because okay. I've got a lot of, of neck bones. And they're going to have to go for a little while longer. Okay. But I'm trying to get the gravy so I can make the gravy with it. So I want to I want to have plenty of gravy with the neck bones so they can boil. I'm gonna let them be uh, simple on very medium low for about 30 minutes, okay? And when I come back, it's going. I'm gonna put uh, my water in. I'm gonna put a little bit more garlic powder and onion powder in it. If I don't put the oil in, it can't even brown the flour good. So. Uh, more uh, uh, garlic powder. 
I use lots of garlic powder and pork all the time. Okay. And a little bit more onion powder. Okay. Now, as soon as it gets brown, I don't like for the gravy to get too dark. So I'm getting ready. So it'll be a golden brown. And I'm going to be adding the meat back in. It, 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 uh, well, it will get too dark brown and it'll be like almost like it's burning. So we don't want that to happen. So that's why I have to keep stirring. Because I want it to be nice and thick. And I want, now I'm getting down to the color that I want to, for it to blend in. This is about the color that I would like for habit. So I'm getting, I hope they like it. So. Okay. All right, now I'm putting in, I'm fixing to put the, uh, the meat back in. And I'm going to have to, uh, I'm trying to put it in on the meaty side. So it's going to have to cook about at least 30 more minutes down low. So now, I'll be adding my sauteed onion and bell peppers. Okay. She'll be back soon as it finished cooking. All right, this is my final touches of my. Uh, this is my onion, neck smothered neck bones with. Uh, it's smothered with. The, I had them with uh, bell peppers and onions, and so I made the gravy with them. And the children are going to do their own plates. I'm going to have their plates. And I baked them a baked potato to go with it. So now I'm going to be filling up their plates, okay? It's Michael. And so everybody's going to have uh, their own neck bones. And I'll be putting... I guess they're going to have their own neck bone. Can't get it dipped up here. Okay. These are still hot now. I hear... Kai Kai his first, cause he's the baby. Number seven. You're still the baby of the bunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's the youngest. He did. Okay. Out of me, Simone, and Buddha. Okay. Michael, you're only one year away from me. You're only eight. I don't know. It's how but I'm old. older. Simone. Still. So. You're only eight. I don't know if she yeah, likes a big one or a little one. Michael, you're only one year away. It doesn't matter. Okay. Michael's plate. Where is Michael? Okay. Okay. Don't break it up. Okay, Michael. Let me see, cause I know Michael's a good eater. Okay, Michael. Let me get your plate here. What's the orange stuff? All right. Got the spicy These are fried neck, onion fried neck bones, and they are. I know they're delicious. You see the the gravy and everything on them. So everybody have theirs. Dane is not eating yet, so. Okay. All right, they're hot. Yeah, your potatoes are hot. And I know the gravy is very good. Very, very good. Nobody said that, Grace. Say something. Okay, amen. Okay. 
God, God is still saying his grace, so let him say his as long as he wants. Taste the, uh, the meat, Michael. I get Love them. Okay. So now, this is something Come on, that I meat. know in the next uh -huh. line that you all might would like to have also. If you're not going to cook a big dinner, this is something you might just like to have I New Year's Eve. It's hot now. All this stuff is very hot. It just come out of the skillet. I know that some All right. It's very good. Now, and I see that they, they really love it. And this is something different that you all can, somebody might want to fix. Uh, if you can find the thin, small neck bones, see if you can if I Because this fork, and so I dab it in. Let me get All it's going to do is just deflect it. All it's going to do is deflect it. Hey, good. On the meaty side. That good. The potato are good. That's why I ate that, so. How's the meat? Good. Okay. Ouch. I'm seeing. I'm trying to cut it where they can see. Yep. Yeah, pick it up with your hand and eat it. That's a neck bone. Okay, now. Oh, the bone can help me. Now, Michael, he don't have to worry about his. He's got his and gone. Okay. Cut you got your hold it for you. Neck bones, you almost have to eat with your hand. Very few, very few times you can eat with. You eat it, my fork. Okay. okay. I got waiting for his fork. You have his fork. Oh, I. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I had your fork. Okay. Now. It's very good. Oh, something very, 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 very good. All right. I call it the potato. Right, your fork is going to fall. Baked potato. I was going to use my, for mine, but it hasn't gotten done yet, so I won't be able to do mine, but no. I've got a few more. She's still? Hi. I'm not really that hungry because I just ate. Maybe I'll just cut the end of food. I had a sandwich. Give him some more. We don't have a little. Okay. Is it good, Kaka? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Michael needs a nap in. He got. He got a. <laughs> all of his mouth and jaw. Michael says it's good. Mm -hmm. Michael says it's out. Michael always says it's good. Michael always loves his Wendy's cooking. He loves it so much that it just be all over him. Great And some good gravy. Yes, okay. indeed. All right. Bye. 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 Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And click all. We on the Uni Radio. Bye. Okay. The children love it. With something else. So I'm trying to get these things all in. So you all be able to go to the grocery store tomorrow. And if you decide to want to have something else. For uh, for New Year's Day. So this is Miss Lena's Kitchen. Talk. We'll see you later on the next video. Bye-bye.